Many of the students have lived in our state virtually their entire lives, and we took recognition of that fact uh, in 2011 when we passed the, the bill allowing for in-state tuition under certain circumstances for, the, for these students. Uh, they are our neighbors, they are our children's friends and our children's classmates. Uh, they are also a significant part of Connecticut's future uh, because we know that in the future we cannot have too many educated, hardworking, gifted, well-motivated people working in our state. That is their, our future, that is the need for our future workforce, so that these young people want to be part of that workforce. They want to have the credentials to succeed uh, in our society, and that is something that we need to try to help them secure, uh, because they are, in fact, uh, children of, of Connecticut. So students who attain degrees from public universities and colleges in Connecticut are more likely to build careers here in Connecticut and become part of the permanent fabric uh, of our state. That has been our, our great tradition to, uh, to welcome immigrants, to try to uh, allow people to take advantage of their own talents, their own abilities, their own drive, their own initiative, and that's what we're hoping to do here. I cannot receive the financial aid because I'm being barred from continuing to a higher education. I stand here today to ask for the equal opportunity as my peers to go to college, to show my parents that their work was not in vain, to empower my siblings as the oldest to go to college, the opportunity to become an engineer and contribute to the Connecticut economy. I ask to be allowed to afford to drink.